Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to yet again another round two series preview. And we got a big one today. Tampa Bay Lightning are taking on the Florida Panthers for the Battle of Florida in round two of the playoffs. And if it is anything like how it was last year, this series is going to be crazy. But first off, let's take a look at how these teams got here. Starting off with Tampa. They beat the Leafs in seven games last night. They scored 23 goals, and they only let in 24 goals against. So, they beat the Leafs in seven, okay? It was a very tight, very competitive series. And I think that's what people overlook since it is the Leafs and they lost in another game seven. But look, this one just feels different than the Montreal series. The Leafs played their butt off. Tampa is a very good team. It's not like Montreal where they got hot at the right time. Tampa is a very good team. They've won back-to-back -back cups, and they're going for their third straight. So Tampa is a very good team. I don't blame it on the Leafs too, too much. It was a very hard-fought series. And look, they scored more. They let in more goals than they allowed. So that is one scary thing to look at for Tampa when you go into a high-flying offensive team like the Panthers. Speaking of the Panthers, their quest to the second round was a little bit easier, but at the same time, it was a little bit harder. They defeat the Washington Capitals in six games. They scored 21 goals and let in 19 goals against. The biggest issue was that everyone thought that the Florida was going to sweep easy and they were just going to beat Florida or they were going to beat the Capitals in either four or five games. But the Capitals fought back. That is a very good Capitals team. They fought back against this Panthers team, but then eventually the Panthers came on top. There was two overtime games there, um, game four and game and game six. So it's something to play in there. Now, it, with Florida, it's interesting because is their goaltending going to hold out into the next round? And that's that's why I've been wondering because I've been I've questioned, and then you guys, if you guys follow me, you would know I have questioned Florida's goaltending. I'm a little bit worried that since they let in six goals against the Capitals maybe um, this could be a very offensive and a very lopsided series, potentially. And that played a huge role last year in why Florida lost the series. So I'm really starting to wonder whether or not Florida can take on Tampa. Maybe this year will be different, but I'm not entirely too sure. When you look at each team's top-performing players, you see on the Tampa Bay Lightning side, you have Nikita Kucherov, two goals, six assists, for eight points. We obviously know how Kucherov is in the playoffs. This is pretty normal. Victor Hedman there, two goals, five assists, seven points. Again, one of the better offensive defensemen in the league. So obviously he's going to put up some points. And then Andre Palat there is third in scoring, who was very clutch during the during the uh, Leaf series. Three goals, two assists, five points. And then you have Andre Vasilevsky down there, 4-3-0, 3.04 goals against average, and a .897 save percentage. So there... Like, Vasilevsky has below average stats. He does not have very good stats for the first seven games in the playoffs. And that is not the normal Vasilevsky that we see. So maybe this is the year that Tampa potentially chokes. But then again, Vasilevsky is, has a pretty big history of just performing insanely in the playoffs. And it's not like he did bad in Game 7 either. He, didn't, he let in a goal, which, I mean, is not as part of his normal thing. He usually doesn't let in a goal in a series clinching game, but... He did, but they still won the game. So I'm still wondering, you know, whether or not maybe Vasilevsky's a little bit off this season. As per the Panthers' side, you have Carter Verhage, who has been unbelievable through the first six games of the playoffs. Six goals, six assists for 12 points. He has been absolutely unreal. Unreal. Simply unreal. One of the better players on Florida that is not talked about. Uh, I, I can't, I can go on forever about how good he has been. Then you have Claude Giroux, deadline acquisition there. Three goals, four assists for seven points. He set up some very clutch goals, set up the overtime winners uh, for both games, for both game four and game six. So he's been very good for the Panthers. And then you have Alexander Barkov with two goals, four assists for six points. Again, a very good two way forward, putting up some good offense there. Then you have Sergey Bobrovsky, who is 4 2 0 through the first six games at 2.79 goals against average and a .906 save percentage. He has been better than I expected him to be. But I thought this was going to be an easy series for Florida. I thought they were going to easily deal with the Capitals. But the Capitals put up more of a fight. So I'm wondering whether or not, if they can't easily deal with the Capitals, can they deal with Tampa? Now it's time for the final verdict here. Who takes this series? Now, it is very even. I'll be, I'll be honest. I think it could, be a, it could go either way. It could genuinely go either way. Either team could win this series. It's really going to come down to holding off Tampa's offense if you're Florida. Tampa has the high-flying offense. 
that is especially good in the playoffs, Braden Point, Nikita Kucherov, Steven Stamkos, Victor Hedman, you have a very good top six. And their bottom six is really good as well. Nick Paul scored two goals against the Leafs last night. Brandon Hagel, Anthony Sorelli. That is a very solid, very good Tampa team. And that's why they won back-to-back cups. And they proved that even if they lose players, they are still consistently good. So I think, you know, although Tampa can definitely win a third in a row, I think Florida wins this series. I, I truly think Florida wins this series. I think the offense from Carter Verhage, Claude Giroux, I think they're going to go all in. They're going to just absolutely just pummel Vasilevsky with shots, and they're going to win the game. I think it's really going to come down to that. The worrying part about Florida, though, is their defense. I think maybe their goaltending might be a little bit better, but I'm still a little bit worried about it because, like I said earlier, I am often criticizing Florida's goaltending, and I'm still a little bit worried about that. But the defense as well, it's a little bit worrisome. I mean, you have Ekblad back, obviously, but apart from that, it really isn't that good. You have Mackenzie Weger, Ben Sherrod is not good defensively. Um, it's gonna be, it's gonna be tough. Absolutely, it's gonna be absolutely tough. And especially when you look at Tampa's defense. That defense has won two cups in a row. You know, Hedman, Sergachev, Foot, Rutta. You know, you have a very good defense there for Tampa. So, I think it'd go either way, to be honest with you. But this year. I think Florida wins it. Anyways, guys, that'll do it for me. Let me know what you guys think will win this series in the comments below. Thank you all very much for watching. If you want to check out our Stanley Cup playoffs playlist for this year, it'll be in the iCon. I'll show the series previews, all the live streams, all that good stuff. We've got some other content coming out. Uh, once the Game 7s conclude tonight for Round 1, we will have the other two previews out, uh, probably as early as Tuesday. I don't know if I can get them all done Monday, but as early as Tuesday. So, yeah, there you go. Thank you all for watching. For I really appreciate it. And I will see you guys in the next video.